With his docket literally on fire over maize and fertilizer scandal, the Agriculture Cabinet Secretary says the backlash won't send him into hiding just yet. For us, we are going to respond. We are not going to sit down and be intimidated. And by the end of the day, who are you threatening me? I came from somewhere. I'm a businessman. I'm a teacher by profession. I have two hearts. I can work. Why do you think that I can be sent home and go and serve there? He is promising to tame and clear out the maize cartels, holding the sector captive. I've prepared for three good months. I have the audit report with me. I've given it to the National Assembly. On Monday, I will present the same to the uh, EACC. Miles away in Nakuru, Deputy President William Bruto was leading calls for quick answers on what exactly is going on. Wanaweza kusema ile wanasema, lakini safari hii hawawezi kuhepa. Kwa sababu, hii maneno must come to an end. The Deputy President directing the pressure to the agencies tasked with investigations and prosecution of graft cases. DPP, DCI, those people who have stolen, wale wenye wameiba na wanajulikana ama imekipitia kwa desk yako na imeibiwa, you should step aside na lazima uwe prosecuted. The President and I, we have given firm instruction. Whatever the officials, whoever they are, whatever their connection, they must be prosecuted. The judiciary once again coming under fire over corruption cases. Kama wewe ni mwizi, umekubali umeiba, unakimbia kotini, badala ya kuenda kufungwa, ati unaenda kuomba bail uzifungwe. Sasa nani atafungwa kama mkora anaenda kotini ya zifungwe. But as William Ruto was throwing barbs at other agencies, opposition chief Raila Odinga in Busia suggested that the handshake deal with President Uhuru Kenyatta was one of the remedies to deal with corruption. Some again a citizen weekend.